Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through IXL's Algebra 1 skills, um, section AA is factoring. In the first lesson of this section, we identified a greatest common factor of, a, um, of terms. Today we're going to take that greatest common factor and, and factor it out of um, an expression. So, so we've got this term, it's written in what we call expanded form. Expanded form is kind of like the area of the rectangle. So um, this rectangle has an area of 2r cubed plus 6r squared. And what our job is, is to find the dimensions, the length and width, the height and base of this rectangle. Okay, so greatest common factor is going to be one of those dimensions. So we look at the 2 and the 6. Greatest common factor between those is 2. And then r cubed and r squared, I told you in that last lesson, just go with the smaller of the two exponents. So 2r squared is the greatest common factor of this expression. So 2r squared is the height of our rectangle. Our job now is to figure out the width. Okay, well, let's just stay over here. 2r squared times what would give us 2r cubed? That would be r. And 2r squared times what would give us 6r squared? That would be 3. So that's why our other factor over here is r plus 3. One of our factors is the greatest common factor. The other one is what's left over when we divide everything by the greatest common factor. Here's another one. Um, so I'm looking at 6 and 6. Their greatest common factor is 6. And then b cubed and b, their greatest common factor is b. So one of our factors is 6b. It's called our greatest common factor. Then 6 divided by 6 is 1, and b cubed divided by b is b squared. Negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1, and b divided by b is 1. So there's our other factor. Let me draw a rectangle diagram to show this. So we've got 6b cubed minus 6b. We figured out that the greatest common factor was 6b. 6b times what is 6b cubed? That would be b squared. And 6b times what is negative 6b? That would be negative 1. So you can see one factor is our greatest common factor and the other one is the length or width of this rectangle. We'll do this one without a rectangle diagram. 21 and 48. Their greatest common factor is only 3. And then u squared and u, their greatest common factor is u. So to figure out the other one, we'll just do 21 divided by 3 is 7. u squared divided by u is u. Negative 48 divided by 3 is negative 16. And u divided by u is 1. 16 times 1 would just be... 16, so we'll leave it like that. So the factored form of this would be 3u times 7u minus 16. This is expanded form, it's like the area of a rectangle. This is what we call factored form, it's like length times width of the rectangle. This one's got three terms, it doesn't really change the process. We're just looking at 32, 16, and 16. Their greatest common factor is 16. d to the ninth, d to the sixth, and d to the fourth their greatest common factor is d to the fourth. Now, we factor the 16d to the fourth out of this expression. Okay, 32 divided by 16 is two. d to the ninth divided by d to the fourth is d to the fifth. Negative 16 divided by 16 is negative one. d to the sixth divided by d to the fourth is d squared. Negative 16 divided by negative 16 is negative 1, and d to the 4th divided by d to the 4th is d to the 0, or 1. So we do actually need a 1 right there. So this is our new expression in factored form. I'll go ahead and do a rectangle diagram just to show how it's no different here. So we got 32d to the 9th, um, negative 16 d to the sixth and negative 16 d to the fourth. All right, so we know that they're all divisible by 16. 
16 times 2 is 32, 16 times negative 1 is negative 16, 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. Then there, we also know they're all divisible by d to the fourth, that's the smallest exponent. So d to the fourth times d to the fifth is d to the ninth, d to the fourth times d squared is d to the sixth, and d to the fourth times d to the zero is d to the fourth but usually, d, not usually, d to the zero, we're just gonna write that as one. So you can see that's the inside of our parentheses. One more, and I'm definitely not gonna do a um, rectangle diagram for this. So let's look at the coefficient of each one of these terms. They're actually relatively prime because their greatest common factor is one. So I'm not even gonna write that one. Next, v's, we got v to the six, v to the six, v cubed and v squared. We just pick the smallest of those. And then w cubed, actually I'll use a different color. How about w cubed, w squared, w to the sixth, and w to the eighth? w squared is the smallest of those. All right, so v squared, w squared is our greatest common factor of those four terms. All right, now we gotta just take everything step by step. 45 divided by one is 45, v to the sixth divided by v squared is v to the fourth, v or w cubed divided by w squared is w. So this times this would give us 45 v to the sixth w cubed. Next, plus 44 divided by one is 44, v to the sixth divided by v squared is v to the fourth, w squared divided by w squared is one. So this greatest common factor times this term would give us the second term. Third term, 10 divided by one is 10. V cubed divided by V squared is V. W to the sixth divided by W squared is W to the fourth. Last term, negative 17 divided by one is negative 17 v squared divided by v squared is one, we're not gonna write anything, and w to the eighth divided by w squared is w to the sixth. I know it's long, this one would appear in the challenge questions, but, so if you're going for a smart score of 100, you're gonna to need to be able to do stuff like that. All right, best of luck to you on the second skill in um, IXL's uh, Algebra 1 section AA, so factoring out a monomial.